Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look at BA's long-term monthly chart. In this video, I want to discuss why trading is always going to be difficult. And one of the reasons is because of the different time frames giving different signals. All right, let's begin with BA. This is a monthly chart going back to 1990, so about 28 years of monthly data. And I'm going to draw a line based on this breakout here, 1995. That's price entry. What we're going to do is extend that line like that. Notice how the breakout was successful. Ultimately, we break down here. We show multiple resistances in late 97, early 98 for those highs. We go above it. We have a nice move in 2000. Break back below it. Show resistance for these highs. Breakout, bullish entry, support on the line. For those lows, in fact, support here for these lows, a break, price break, resistance, 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 double top resistance. And where I'm getting at is pretty much coming to today's action or this month's action where we are seeing support. All right, so resistance here. And then most recently, there was a move above that line, which is here. That entry in early 2017, as of early 2018, we are bouncing on the line. So based on this long-term monthly chart, and depending on anybody or a trader's objective in terms of holding period, we can see this is projecting a move to the upside over many months. Now, that means that one can buy and hold, right? Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be seeing a profitable return, assuming it holds. In other words, even assuming this line holds. In fact, after finding that support on the blue line, we've already seen a 10% reversal higher, which is a good return in a couple of weeks. But now, take a look at the contradicting information coming from the current weekly chart, where we can see right now, this is going to be a challenging area. This is the RSI topside resistance. So let me redraw that again. We got potential for topside resistance on the RSI. And we have also potential for a backtest failure level. If you draw it like that. And we can see that this was the recent breaking price, breaking the RSI. If we extend that line, we can see that this is also another challenging area of the market because of this back test. So the two lines are intersecting exactly where the stock is trading, which means failure to move above this line in the short term suggests that week to week, there is a probability of prices moving lower. So there you have it. You have a weekly chart right now suggesting the next meaningful direction is lower you have a long-term monthly chart suggesting that there's a good probability of continuation to the upside so which one is going to be the one that actually controls things here and here it just depends on your time frame and this is what makes trading difficult it's time frames giving different signals so here we can say in the short term somebody can still make money if this pulls back slightly in the long term those who continue holding as long as the line continues to hold they have all the reason in the world to expect that in the coming months not necessarily week to week but in months ahead prices are still going to be higher eric moad with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s